So I'm going to invite you to get nice and comfortable, whether you're laying down or sitting back in your chair. I'm just going to invite you to fully invite yourself here now on all levels, mentally, emotionally, physically, energetically, just call it, call it all to be present in this moment. All of your, your beautiful, sacred, magical selves. And like there's a calling and if, if it feels there could be a commanding. You know, I'm, I'm really inviting myself on all levels to be fully present here. If you're laying down, just notice how it feels to have your, your body touching, whether it's a sofa or a bed. Just how that feels for your back, the backs of your legs, and the back of your head. If you're sitting in a chair, notice how it feels. Have your feet touching the texture of the floor, the temperature, the backs of your legs touching the chair, your back touching either a cushion or the back of your chair. Fully embody your most beautiful goddess self. We'll start with some pranayama. I'm going to invite you to bring the backs of your hands to your knees. If you're sitting, straightening your spine, gently tucking your head. And then just inhale, rolling your shoulders up and back. feeling the fullness of yourself. And allow this to be a time to fill yourself up, to empty yourself where you need to, and to, to be filled up, to be nurtured, to be nourished in your heart, in your soul, in your mind, your energy, body, your spirit, wherever, wherever you need it. Allow this, this to fill you up. Allow yourself to be deeply connected beneath and above and in all the directions. So we're just going to do a pranayama where we inhale for the count of four or maybe it's five or six. And then we're just gonna exhale out for the same count. So as you can inhale and exhale for as long as you wish, but we just want it to be the even amount for the inhale and the exhale. So whenever you're ready, I'm going to invite you to start. Start inhaling, and as you inhale, feel yourself connection, your connection with the land beneath you. And as you inhale, just feel that you're inhaling this nourishment of the land up through your body, your breath, your consciousness. And feel your lower belly. We really want that breath in your lower belly. You want to feel that breath filling you up. And then it can rise up into your body and rise all the way up to the crown of your head. And then exhaling. And it's the, the emptying. As women, as goddesses, that emptying is so vitally important because we get we get really filled up. And then when we're we're filled up in a different way. I don't mean like your cups is filled up, but I just mean filled up with the thoughts, filled up with the feelings, the emotions, the sometimes the busyness of the mind, the critical mind. So this is just an emptying. So allow that inhale. And this time of the summer solstice is honor your inner wild woman. 
a time of sovereignty. It's a time of abundance. But most importantly, the solstice is to pause, right? So we're pausing here together with our breath. And with every breath, we're moving more deeply into our inner pause and our outer pause as well. And when we pause, we give ourselves that ability to realign and also reconnect, recharge, reawaken, to remember, to rejuvenate, to relax. Just allow your breath to be deep and full. And feel this beautiful movement of your breath within you. And as you exhale, you're emptying, emptying anything, anything at all that you're ready to empty at this time. as we open our sacred space. At this sacred time of the summer solstice, we evoke Echleim. As you carry on with your breath, I'm gonna invite you to keep flowing with your breath. Echleim. Eru. Eru, the goddess, the personification of the land of the earth herself. She represents that inner wildness, that truth, but also that deep personal power, that alignment, that sovereignty, that abundance. So with every breath, just inviting yourself more deeply into this present moment. I'd like to evoke all of our fire goddesses and all of the goddesses that we've worked with on the wheel this year together. The fire goddess Anya. As we moved into Samhain, Marikin, the shapeshifter. the goddess of integrity and truth. So we moved into winter solstice, the Kaliak, the veiled one, the wise one, the crone. So we moved to Imbolc, Bridget, the fire goddess, goddess of love, of rebirth, of transformation. As we moved into Vyeltana, Maeve, the fire goddess. The goddess of sensuality, sexuality, personal power, freedom. And now, goddess Eru. I invite you to evoke any other presence that you would like here with us now. The goddess of Lunasa is Danu, the mother goddess, evoking her presence now too. Calling in Ichlem, the wolf, the crow, the owl, the swan, the hare, the deer, The serpent. Evoking the cauldron. The cauldron that has the ability to 
receive anything you wish to alchemize and to release. So releasing your pranayama now and just coming back to your, your normal breath, but I'm gonna invite you to still allow your breath to be deep and full. And keep inviting your breath to move you more deeply into the alchemy of this moment. As we journey together into the other worlds, I invite you to see yourself now. Standing in an emerald green field with this wooden gate in front of you. And as you look around this field, you see it's laden with hawthorn, elderberry, holly, gorse, and honeysuckle growing up the gate. As you look to the gate, you see that it is illuminating. And the gate just opens in front of you. It opens for you to enter. And the moment you enter through this gate, if you feel cold, you're entering into the other realms. If you feel guided, stepping in, feeling completely safe, And knowing that you are held and it is always for your highest good. And it's always about listening, listening as you are the one with infinite wisdom to know what is for your highest good. You always were and you always will be. seeing this stone path in front of you. See more emerald green field ahead. However, this field is covered in yellow dandelion, yellow buttercups, primroses. Smelling the honeysuckle in the air. Just making your way across this beautiful meadow. And as you look to the left, there is this glimmering, beautiful lake. This lake is covered in the most beautiful flowers, lilies, wild lilies water lilies and you can see the salmon jumping out of the water the wild salmon and also the swans gliding through the water you're aware of this beautiful lake however you keep moving forward moving more deeply into your journey Breathing deeply from this place of trust, which every step as you move forward, you move even more deeply into this deep sense of trust, trusting yourself, trusting life, trusting your intuition that deep knowing. Perhaps feeling the presence now of your ancestors. As always, they're here to support and guide you. Always at your back, got your back. Those that are always here for the highest good. As you look out in front now, you see 
this ancient stone circle. These standing zones in this circle are taller than you and they stand strong. And as you look at these stones, you feel that strength within you. You feel your own personal power. You make your way over towards the stone circle. And as you get closer to the entrance, Goddess Eru is there to greet you. She's beckoning you over. Again, always trusting your highest self. If you feel guided to go to her, she's at the entrance stone. As you make your way over there, you notice that she comes down to her knees to welcome you. And when you greet her, you also do the same. And you bring your hearts and your foreheads down to the earth as though kissing the earth, giving deep thanks and that deep sense of humility for all of this ancient power and wisdom that is right here for you now. As you both rise up, Goddess Eru invites you into the stone circle. She invites you to walk clockwise three times inside the stone circle. She invites you to connect with each and every single one of these ancient stones as they all carry different wisdom for you, guidance, messages, and gifts. So just making your way around now, connecting with each and every one of these rocks. This emerald light comes from above. This emerald light is the energy from the heart of the universe. And you can see also this white light surrounding the entire stone circle. With every step, you receive the gifts. And as you make your way around the inside of the circle, you notice that an elder tree has just grown in the center of the stone circle. This elder tree allows you to move even more deeply into the other world, to receive and activate your gifts on a more deeper level, to step more into your personal power than you ever have before in your life. Allowing yourself to receive And as you come back around to the entrance stone, Goddess Eru 
invites you into the center of the zone circle and to just lay back into the earth where you are the earth, you are the land. She hands you a whistle that is made from this very elder tree that is here with you right now. She shares with you, when you blow this whistle, this elder that came from the branch of the tree in the center of the stone circle, you will shape shift. You will shape shift into your power animal, whether it be the swan, the serpent, the hare, the raven, the crow, the owl, the salmon, the swan, the horse, from the Celtic other world, or it's another power animal. Goddess Eru invites you to bring the whistle in between your lips and to blow the whistle as you take a deep inhale and as you exhale and blow your breath through the whistle. You hear the sound of your power animal and you begin to shape shift. Feel this transformation happening as you shape shift into your power animal. Perhaps you're forming feathers, fur, the wolf, perhaps you're howling now through the whistle. Perhaps there's hooves forming. Feel yourself shape shifting. How does it feel to be in the skin of your power animal? How does it feel to feel this energy pulsating through you? And if you're the wise salmon, feel yourself in that lake that we witnessed as we entered into the sun circle. If you shape shifted into the Celtic bird of love, the swan, feel yourself in the lake. If you shape shift into the crow or the raven or the owl or any other bird, Allow yourself to soar through the air. As you flap your wings, feel yourself rising up higher and higher to the sky. If you shape shifted into the horse, feel yourself jump over the standing stones and the power of your hooves as they gallop upon the earth, the field, gallop through the lake. If you shape shifted into the wolf, feel the energy as you howl, as you also gallop at lightning speed. The scent all of your senses heightened to a whole nother level. You've never even experienced your sense of smell, your vision, your hearing. Most importantly though, tapping into that personal power, that freedom, 
that wildness, that rawness. Feel how that feels to have shape-shifted as this is you. You are this. Feel your heart. Feel the sense of relief, wonder, freedom. Knowing this is you. This is not only your totem, this is the full embodiment. This is the medicine. This is also a manifestation, the truest essence, the raw form. Allow yourself to feel this on the cellular memory. Allow the remembrance of this. Feel the awakening, the transformation how things will never be the same. Now that you have that ability to shape shift. Breathing deeply. Allowing your breaths to flow. Feeling your connection to self, to you in this form. Remember this as we get ready to shape, shift back into our human form. We are the spirit expressing in this human form. So whether you're in the lake, galloping across the land or in the air, coming back into the center of the circle. Feeling that emerald green light from source, from the heart of the universe. Glowing down. Goddess, Eru is there in the center of the stone circle. In your form, she hands you the whistle. As you blow through it, you feel yourself shifting back into your human form while still holding the embodiment and knowing that you can visit here at any time and shape shift. And it may not always be the same animal. This was the one for you now. So pay attention, beloveds. Pay attention. As you shape shift back, coming back into your skin, noticing how that feels. Do your senses still feel as sharp? Allow yourself to fully emerge into your physical human body. Allow yourself to lay upon the earth so deeply. It's just like the earth is holding you. Inviting you to come fully back into your physical body. Feeling every blade of grass touching your skin.
Eru offers you a hand to rise up, to stand up. And she gives you the whistle. You tuck it into your pocket or wherever. You can just tuck it in and take it with you. Feel this emerald green light flowing in. With unconditional love. That sense of balance and that deep awareness and connection to your highest self, to the land beneath you, but also to this other world. Eru walks you out, exiting the stone circle. She guides you up, back up towards the gate. Noticing the temperature, the sounds that you hear, the smells that you smell. And as you come towards the gate, it again opens up for you. It's illuminated. Can you look back and give deep thanks to all of the goddesses that were there, that are always there for you, and to Eru, offering thanks to the stone circle, the lake, the land, and to all the gifts that you received today exiting through the gate and just taking a moment to put your left hand over your womb and your right hand over your heart inhaling into your womb and your heart and exhaling Having this deep, deep sense of remembrance. And I invite you now in this moment, beloved, if there is a commitment or a promise or a vow that you would like to make to yourself, take a moment to do that now. <laughs> 